Golden Corral was struggling before COVID, but the pandemic nearly pushed the buffet chain over the edge. However, a creative approach and a viral moment led to an unexpected revival that you have to see to believe. And on that note, food. In the early 1970s, James H. Maynard and William Carl aspired to open a restaurant in their native North Carolina. After failing to secure franchise rights from major chains, they decided to create their own brand. With support from independent investors, they launched the Golden Steer in Fayetteville, North Carolina in 1973. Maynard mentioned in an interview with Nation's Restaurant News, most of the original shareholders were friends who were school teachers and educators. I always knew that school teachers were smart folks. As they geared up to open a second location within a year, Maynard and Carl rebranded their restaurant as Golden Corral. The change marked the beginning of rapid expansion, with the duo quickly growing their business. Maynard remarked on their swift success. We had three restaurants open and two of them were losing money. At that point, we began to question our concept. We opened a casual dining restaurant that was profitable, and that helped get us over the hump. Golden Corral quickly expanded, with 200 locations established within a decade. Though the aggressive expansion slowed, the company has continued to grow steadily over the past 40 years, becoming a well-known name in the buffet restaurant industry. You know what's crazy? That this is better than cooking at home? I mean, more affordable. Choosing what to eat for dinner can sometimes feel overwhelming. After finally deciding, the next question is often which restaurant to go to. This dilemma is precisely why all-you-can-eat buffets exist. Instead of stressing over specific menu options, you can have a wide variety of dishes all under one roof. The appeal of endless meal combinations isn't the only draw. The price point is also a major factor. Restaurants like Golden Corral have leveraged this by offering buffets at relatively affordable prices. For many, the ability to customize a meal in countless ways while keeping costs down is a significant attraction. Golden Corral tapped into this consumer desire, laying the foundation for its success. The classic American buffet restaurant experienced its golden era in the 1980s with chains like Hometown Buffet and Golden Corral riding the wave of popularity. During this time, the allure of unlimited food choices at a single price point was irresistible to many. However, the rapid expansion of buffet chains across the country soon led to an oversaturation in the market. With so many options available, competition became fierce and the novelty of the all-you-can-eat concept began to fade. As the years went on, especially by the 2000s, the appeal of buffets started to wane. There was a growing demand for healthier dining options, which posed a challenge for buffet-style restaurants often associated with indulgence and unhealthy eating habits. Consumers still wanted good value for their money, but they also increasingly prioritized health-conscious choices. This shift in consumer preferences led to a significant decline in the buffet industry. Even before the COVID-19 pandemic, the buffet business was already struggling. The pandemic further complicated matters as safety concerns and health regulations made the traditional buffet format less viable. As a result, many buffet restaurants faced unprecedented challenges, hastening the industry's decline. At the start of 2020, despite a decline in public interest, all-you-can-eat buffets were still managing to operate. Golden Corral, in particular, maintained a steady business throughout 2019, reporting nearly $1.8 billion in sales across 483 locations, a slight decrease of less than 2% from the previous year. However, the onset of COVID-19 presented a bleak outlook for the restaurant industry. In March 2020, the U.S. government declared a national emergency, prompting many states to implement lockdowns and shelter-in-place orders. By March 25th, Golden Corral had to furlough nearly 2,300 employees and close all 35 of its company-operated restaurants. The ongoing uncertainty prompted the chain to hold a virtual town hall meeting for all employees. During the meeting, Golden Corral's president and CEO, Lance Trenary, addressed the challenges facing the company and the industry, saying, it is truly an emotional and challenging time for our country. The realities of the current situation have forced us to make difficult decisions. As COVID-19 disrupted daily life, Golden Corral, like thousands of other restaurants, had to adapt quickly to survive. The pandemic forced businesses to rethink their operations, and many couldn't withstand the pressure. According to the Washington Post, by spring 2021, around 90,000 restaurants had closed, either temporarily or permanently. Many independent establishments struggled to adjust to the new reality, casting a shadow over the industry's future. 
However, Golden Corral's ability to innovate proved advantageous. Even before statewide lockdowns limited indoor dining, the company implemented protocols to curb infection risks. When restrictions were imposed, Golden Corral expanded its takeout services, introducing curbside pickup and drive through options at many locations. These adaptations helped the chain limit its losses, resulting in an estimated $1.48 billion in sales in 2020. Despite the challenging circumstances, as the buffet restaurant industry stabilizes post-COVID-19, Golden Corral is navigating a significantly less crowded landscape. The once dominant Old Country Buffet, which thrived in previous decades, has fallen from prominence. Its parent company, Fresh Acquisitions, has faced multiple bankruptcies in recent years, culminating in the chain's decline. After enduring the 2008 financial crisis, Old Country Buffet and its sibling brands, including Hometown Buffet and Ryan's, closed all their locations by April 2021. Sizzler, another iconic name in the buffet scene, has also suffered. Once boasting over 250 restaurants, Sizzler's numbers have plummeted to under 100, primarily in California. The chain's financial troubles were exacerbated by the pandemic, leading to its bankruptcy filing in 2020. In this changed market, with its major rivals faltering, Golden Corral has emerged relatively unscathed. The company has managed to maintain its position and adapt, positioning itself as the leading national buffet chain amidst a dwindling field of competitors. While Golden Corral managed to stay afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic, its employees have long faced challenging conditions. Even before 2020, the company was criticized for unsanitary working environments, as exposed by multiple whistleblowers. Many current and former staff members continue to report cleanliness issues. On Indeed, one ex-employee shared a harsh review, highlighting how the company often overworks its employees to the point of exhaustion. Despite avoiding a complete collapse, the burden on Golden Corral's workforce has remained a significant concern. When I first started working there, it was a nice, clean, healthy environment with great staff and great food. But as they overworked and underpaid their great, reliable staff, the place started falling apart. Nasty food, dirty tables, and sections. In addition to workplace challenges, Golden Corral's employees faced a major issue outside the job. In August 2023, the company experienced a significant data breach, compromising the personal information of nearly 180,000 current and former employees. The security lapse exposed sensitive data, including names, social security numbers, driver's license numbers, financial details, medical records, health insurance information, and account credentials. This breach added to the list of difficulties faced by Golden Corral's workforce. Success often hinges on a little assistance. And for David Conklin, Golden Corral's chief development officer, the pandemic's challenges transformed the company's approach to supporting its restaurants. In a discussion with Restaurant Dive, Conklin shared Golden Corral's renewed commitment to its franchisees, emphasizing their vision for ongoing and future partnerships. The pandemic has taught us that we need to continue to do that work with our franchisees that we need to be innovative. To enhance support for its franchisees, Golden Corral launched a franchise incentive program in July 2022. This initiative aims to alleviate rising operational expenses by providing discounts and credits to new locations. The focus is on easing the financial burden of acquiring supplies. Conklin explained that this program is part of their broader strategy to assist franchisees in managing costs more effectively. Golden Corral is cutting a check back to their food service supplier to help pay for their food and reduce their costs and help with inflation. We saw this as an opportunity to fight inflation, help with new store growth, and help build that pipeline. Golden Corral might not top the list for profitability, but it offers notable advantages for franchise owners. In December 2023, New York City's first Golden Corral got creative with its marketing. The Bronx location posted a video on Instagram featuring four employees dancing at the restaurant's entrance. The playful video quickly went viral, gaining widespread attention online. In a separate viral moment, a TikTok user tested the value of Golden Corral's all-you-can-eat offer by staying at a Golden Corral in Indianapolis for 12 hours, having paid just $12 for a single meal. I was just curious what it'd be like to be there all day. You only have to pay one time and you can eat and drink as long as you want. In 2017, Golden Corral unveiled a new prototype restaurant in Greensboro, North Carolina, named Gateway. This redesign marked a strategic shift aimed at attracting a younger audience and revitalizing the brand. The Gateway prototype featured a more open and tranquil dining environment aimed at enhancing guest comfort. It also focused on streamlining kitchen operations to boost efficiency, all within a more compact space. 
Although the rollout of these new designs faced delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the updated Golden Corral locations have started appearing across the U.S. The refreshed concept represents a significant step towards modernizing the buffet experience while retaining core values. In an interview with Nation's Restaurant News, Lance Trenary shared that there are plans to reintroduce elements of the company's traditional steakhouse heritage in select locations, blending the old with the new to offer a distinctive dining experience. We're not going to compete with the Texas Roadhouses or Longhorns or Outback, but we believe that there might be a segment under them. Golden Corral shows no signs of sticking to the status quo as it adapts to contemporary dining trends. The buffet chain is clearly committed to embracing change and innovation. Golden Corral is exploring new horizons with its latest venture. In December 2023, the chain launched its inaugural Homeward Kitchen in Southern Pines, North Carolina. This new fast casual concept marks a departure from the traditional buffet model, emphasizing home-style dishes in a more compact setting. Homeward Kitchen will serve as a test site for Golden Corral's foray into fast casual dining, potentially shaping the future of the brand's offerings. We think it's going to be something that scales very quickly and and really plays into a great uh, hand for us. In a Golden Corral announcement, Lance Trenary unveiled the company's vision for Homeward Kitchen. We see an opportunity to provide wholesome, craveable food for families on the go. We're excited to launch a concept that combines high quality, freshly prepared, classic comfort foods with the convenience of being able to enjoy them in the restaurant, on the go, through the drive-through, or at home. Trenary indicated that if Homeward Kitchen proves successful, Golden Corral plans to grow the brand nationwide. While these fast casual eateries won't replace the traditional Golden Corral restaurants, they will offer a different dining option for customers.